It's Cyndaquil Community Day Classic, but before we start, I do have a five kilometer egg here and we could get a shiny Larvesta, so this one is a Litwick, okay. Before we start checking Cyndaquils though, I do wanna say that we had a crazy start to the day. I managed to get myself two shiny Hisuian Growlithes just purely in the wild, which is pretty cool. And then we went to a hot dog place that I believe is called Hot Dog Heaven and it was pretty all right. Plus we got to feed some ducks, which was really nice. And then a little after that, I hatched a shiny Magby. So it's been a crazy morning, but now it's time to click on some Cyndaquils and maybe get a shiny even though I've already gotten two of them on the drive over because we didn't quite make it here on time. Let's try this one out, not brown. And then this last one, not it. Oh well. And here's a 10 kilometer egg. What are we gonna get from this? A charcadet. And we have ourselves the Cyndaquil Community Day Classic Special Research where we had to catch a certain amount of Cyndaquils, make a certain amount of night throws. We still have to power up a Pokemon 10 times, but we'll do that in a second after we claim these Turtonators because these are just from before the events, but this one isn't shiny, 920. Also, I don't know what it is, but my research takes for ever to load in. But when it finally does, it works fine. This one also isn't shiny, 920 again. And here's the last one. It's gonna be a not shiny, 924. I guess I'm gonna power up this Hundo Red or Corio 10 times, because I feel like that's the best thing to do, even though I've lost count now, but whatever. We'll just spin that much, and there we go. And now let's claim the Pokeballs, some Cyndaquil candies, and of course the Cyndaquil. We want a 420, and of course we want it to be brown, but this is a 408 normal. And the final rewards are 3,000 Stardust, an Incense, and we get another Cyndaquil that is not shiny, 401. I promise this is a Cyndaquil video, but we have more eggs, so there's a Slugma. And number two is a Magby. Let's actually click on some of these in front of you guys. Let's see if we can get ourselves a shiny Cyndaquil just to do that. I know that apparently there's a tiny one nearby and that'd be kind of fun. Maybe this is the tiny one? Yes, it is, but it's not shiny. And then this one right here isn't brown. And then last but not least, not it. All right, just to put it in the video, there are shiny Cyndaquils out. We finally got one. Got a few earlier, but then after doing those few in the car, I just could not find one in the wild like on foot. So it's good that we got this one if it would just stop jumping and get in your home. Come on, buddy. It, really? Come on, buddy. This is something else. There we go. We hit it. A quick look at this thing. It is terrible. All right. This Cyndaquil day is going great. We decided to do a raid instead. 2134. We wanted 2160, so hopefully somebody gets something good there. Do I get a rare XL though? Because somebody just did. I didn't. Cool. Spin 280 of them. You never get any back apparently, but that's fine because it's at least bacon. No, no bacon for me. Anybody Anybody get bacon? Come on, Tommy, where's your bacon at? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sadly, the bacon bird didn't show up, but we did get ourselves a cinnamon Cyndaquil, so down with that. The only downside right now is that we have some really good wind, which uh, wouldn't be a bad thing normally, but the death cloud behind us there probably means that rain's coming. I don't know how long we're gonna be staying out here, but we might as well try to catch as many of these as possible before, you know, getting destroyed by rain. Take a look at this thing though. It is fine, eight, 10, 13. Got some eggs yet again. This one had a slug in it. Number two has a Magby, and this third one, it's got a our Vesta, right? No, Slugma, cool. Two tens. What do we get from these ones? Charcadet. It definitely feels like Charcadet's the most common thing for sure. Yep, there's another one. And neither of them are really that great, but it is what it is. Page 204 is done and we're sitting down because I'm an old man after all that walking yesterday. But how about this Cyndaquil? Is it going to be shiny? It sure isn't. And a 411, that's nine off. And the final rewards are a star piece. We get some XP and another Cyndaquil that isn't cinnamon and a 406. Sparky, what you going to do, man? I'm about to power up this uh, Schlund. Or, I'm sorry, no, the Shundo. Not a, not a Shlundo, but it's a it's, Shundo. It's a Shundo yeah. Nasui and Typhlosion. That's pretty cool. There we go. Go ahead, do it. Boom. And bop. There we go. That is a 100% shiny level 50. Let's just get that in there to prove it. Oh. Feels good. What, what number raid was that again? That was raid number four from New Zealand for its uh, debut. <sighs> That's nice. That's only, real nice. Imagine being good at the game, months. right? I know, right? Be pretty fun. A few <laughs> just a couple months. You should try it. We've now come into the mall because it looks like it's gonna rain, so might as well chill in the AC and hatch some lar shiny Larvestas. Well, that was a Larvesta, actually. Did not expect to see that. How about this one, though? Litlio. And now that we're away from the copyrighted music, we got another Litlio. Hey, go ahead, Tommy. Click on him. See if we can get that shiny Larvesta. No, that's a dog. I hope not. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, there's and a slug. It is. Dips. No. Dips? Okay. Well, you know what? Good. Good. No dips for him. Yep. We've got two more of these eggs. What do we get from these? A Hisuian Growlithe. 
And the second one is a Litlia. And immediately after those fives, we've got some twos. That's a slug. Number two, it's another slug. But what's the third one? A dog. H3 of four is now done. Let's get those great balls and the candies. And I believe this should be a Cyndaquil, right? It's a Cyndaquil. Awesome. 394 though. And then the final rewards are going to be 4,500 dust, a rocket radar, which is always great, and a Quilaba. This one's a 684. Don't know if that's good or not, obviously, because we don't really go for Quilabas that often. For fun though, let's take a look. See how good it is. <laughs> 12, 12, 13. And now let's claim the Ultra Balls. Let's get the Silver Pineapps, our final encounter with a Cyndaquil that is not shiny. 396. And then the final rewards are three rare candies. We get some XP and then a Typhlosion, I believe. Yes, look at that. 1200 exactly. And surprisingly, we first balled it, so that's great. Let's see what it is though. 12, 12, 11. Not great at all. Oh well, at least we're done with that. Well, community day is officially over, and I am really exhausted, guys. I didn't go as hard as I usually do, but that's because of yesterday. I just pushed way too hard. It did pay off, I'm happy to say, but it's really taking it out of me today. But anyways, it says we got 33 shinies today, which isn't 100% true. We got a decent amount of cynicals, but then there's these two at the end, the Magby and the Larvesta. That did not happen today. That happened yesterday. But I guess we can throw it in the video again. We got this in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. I <laughs> grinded so hard for this. So yeah, when it comes down to the Cyndaquils and stuff. None of them were really that good, I'm afraid. Some of them may be good for PvP, like that one, but like if we just keep swiping through, you'll notice they're all kind of just bad. Like, there's really none of them that were like really, really good. But, you know, it is what it is. It was a fun little mini community day classic kind of thing. And after grinding so hard for that Larvesta, I kind of just wanted to take it a little bit easier this time. But I can't complain. I mean, 20 something Cyndaquils, not bad. Hey everybody, so I just was digging through all of the Cyndaquils and I found this right here. It's already a Typhlosion because I just decided to evolve it, but check it out. This is a 0 15, 13. This is rank one for Great League and Typhlosion is surprisingly really good in the Great League and the best moveset to have on it is Incinerate, Blast Burn and what we want to get here is Thunder Punch. It's a brand new move that it just got, but as you can see, it just got Fire Blast. We don't want Fire Blast on it. We're gonna try to get Thunder Punch because this gives it coverage for all the water types. It did have solar beam, but like solar beam's really not that helpful when it comes down to it. Like it takes a while to charge up and thunder punch is way better. But for the life of me, I'm getting every other move. There we go, thunder punch. But yeah, seriously, there's a lot of water types that hard counter Typhlosion and incinerate builds a lot of energy and hits hard. Like it's just good to have like together. You know what I mean? They gave a lot of Pokemon thunder punch, including Gudra for its community day, but it is a very useful move. It's a very very spammy move, you can bait them. And again, if you're fighting something like a Poliwrath or any other water type that you see in Great League, you could actually take it out with a Typhlosion, which is kind of weird to say, but you know, that's kind of cool. But we definitely have to power this thing up all the way. And I do believe it goes exactly to 1500. Yes, it does. Why not? Let's do it. Let's spend all that dust that I earned earlier today, but that's awesome. I didn't have a rank one of this thing, so. Great, you know, I never really use it that much, but I've had a few people use it on me to great effect, so at least now I have the option. But on that note, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me, show me some love, and let me know in the comments down below, how did you do? Did you get a Shundo? Did you get a good PvP one? Let me know. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see more, I highly suggest this one, where we got the shiny Larvesta. But on that note, I'll see you in the next one.